FBG Duck was really blackballed in his music industry, man, and it's crazy because this brother had a lot of talent. He was the first artist that was major that co-signed Sexy Red before she blew up in the music industry. She didn't have no money. She had 15 to $30, you know, and she used that for gas money to link up with for a video shoot. She blew up. Now you see her in the pictures getting kissed on by Drake and other artists such as Lee Chopper. But they only use that for promotion and marketing tool to help get her name out there. And it's helping her. Shout out to her and shout out to the other people in the game that's supporting her. You know what I'm saying? But if she wasn't famous and she was getting kissed on by these different dudes, y'all already know how they would talk about her. You know? But she make that gutter music. I think she a dope artist. But... The whole point is, FBG Duck was the one that supported this young lady from the trenches. You know, he could have looked at her like a groupie. He could have passed her up. Nah, she a hood booger. I don't want to rock with her. I'm doing my thing. It's my time now. She ain't got no money to pay me to be in no video with her. She ain't got no money, you know, to do a song with me. That ain't what he was on, and she loved him for that. When he passed away, she said, long live FBG Duck. And she also said that she loved him. You know, Duck was a powerful person. You know, he had a big heart. Everybody from his friends, even his ops, they still had a certain respect for him because they know the type of dude that FBG Duck was. He stayed in the trenches, bro. I was a big FBG Duck fan, still is. You can type in on YouTube, FBG Duck in the hood. Even after the fact, when he blew up, he was still out there. He wasn't leaving Chicago because that's where his family was, even though he had ops out there that lived on the next block that wanted to take him and his friends' lives. He had people out there that he took care of. He had children out there. When he lost his life, he was actually downtown buying some designer clothes, some very expensive clothes for his son's birthday. You know, he was also a great father, a good man. He tried to reach out to a lot of people from Chicago that was in the music industry to stop the beef. They didn't want to. They wanted this brother out the way. And that's sad, man. All over clout, all over money, all over a name. Because the BDs and the GDs into it in Chicago. But as you can see right now, FYBJ Main, King Yellow, Ruga, they the GDs. Um, FBG Butter, you know, they the GDs. And some of them been linking up with the ops, going live, trying to show some unity and shed light for the youth. And that's a good sign. This is something that FBG Duck would respect, you know, but you'll probably never see people like Lil Dirk and his other guys to come together with these people because they won't, it's too much of an image. It's too much pride there. They'd rather beef and make sneak disses. I guarantee you Dirk watching all of this, for you know it, he gonna come out with a sneak diss in one of his songs about Oh, the guys linking up with the ops, I don't respect that or whatever. You got to show unity, man. Shout out to Duck for putting on Sexy Red, though.